Heidi, Girl of the Alps is a 1974 Japanese anime series by Zuiyo Enterprises based on the Swiss novel Heidi's Years of Wandering and Learning by Johanna Spirai. It was directed by Izor Takahata and features contributions by numerous other anime luminaries, including Yorichi Kotobi, Toyu Ashida, Yoshiyuki Tomino, and Hayao Miyazaki. Heidi is one of several world masterpiece theatre titles produced around the classical children's literature period, based on classic tales from the Western world. The animation studio responsible for Heidi, Zuiyo Enterprises, would split in 1975 into Nippon Animation Company, Limited and Zuiyo Company, Limited, which retained the rights to the Heidi TV series. The feature-length movie edit of the TV series, released in March 1979, was engineered completely by Zuiyo, with no additional involvement from Nippon Animation, Takahata or Miyazaki. Plot, Adelheid is five years old when her aunt Det who has raised Heidi since her parents' death four years earlier, takes Heidi to live with her formidable grandfather on the Swiss Alps. Det has found a promising job in Frankfurt, but cannot leave while still Heidi's guardian. The only relative left is Heidi's grandfather, and in Det's opinion, he should take some responsibility. Armonji, as Heidi's grandfather is commonly known, has a fearsome reputation with the villagers of Dar Paragraph RFLI as rumors claim that in his youth he killed a man. Now he lives a solitary life with his dog Joseph in a cabin halfway up the mountain. However, Heidi quickly wins her way into his heart with her enthusiasm and intelligence, firmly establishing herself in his life. She spends her summer days on the mountain top with the goat herd Peter, whose responsibility it is to take the villagers' goats to the high mountains for pasture, and her winters occasionally visiting Peter's grandmother, a blind old woman whose dream is to one day hear her cherished book of psalms read to her. Armonji's misanthropy prevents Heidi from going to school, of which she has no experience anyway. Heidi continues to live happily in the mountains until Aunt Det returns from the city, excited about a good opportunity for Heidi. A wealthy German businessman, Mr. Saman, is searching for a companion for his crippled daughter. Thwarted by Armonji, Det tricks Heidi into accompanying her, ostensibly to get a present for Peter and her grandfather. Promised that she can return at any time, Heidi is taken to Frankfurt. There, Det abandons her to the care of Miss Rodenmuir, the strict, no-nonsense governess in charge of Clara's welfare. Heidi and Clara quickly become friends, and Heidi quickly turns the household topsy-turvy with her escapades and well-meaning faux pas. Clara is enchanted by Heidi's stories of the Alps, which paint a picture of a life completely different from the sheltered and lonely one she is accustomed to. Her father is mostly away on business, and Clara's only constant companions until now are the servants and her canary. Heidi's longing to return home and occasional attempts to escape are punctuated by the occasional distractions of new friends. She smuggles a small kitten into the house and Clara and she care for it until Mrs. Rottenmeyer discovers it and has it thrown out. Clara's doctor befriends her, and occasionally keeps a benevolent eye on her, but it is Clara's grandmother that has the most impact. On one of her rare visits to Frankfurt, she and Heidi become fast friends. Under her kindly tutelage, Heidi finally learns how to read, to the astonishment of the tutor who has struggled for months to do the same. However, the old woman's departure home again proves a turning point for Heidi. Forbidden by Mrs. Rottenmeyer to ever mention or even think of the Alps again, Heidi rapidly goes into a decline, eventually becoming a sleepwalker whose ghostly passage through the hallways terrorizes the household. Summoned home to deal with the haunting, Mr. Saman, with the aid of the doctor, catch Heidi in the middle of the night. The doctor diagnoses Heidi's condition and persuades Mr. Saman to send the girl back to her Alps before she dies of homesickness. Clara is only reconciled by the promise that she will be allowed to visit Heidi in her mountains. Under the care of Sebastian, the kindly butler, Heidi embarks on the long trip home, finally returning to the arms of her overjoyed grandfather, Peter and his family. Heidi's return and her enjoyment of reading prompt Armonji to partially restore a ruined house down in the village, where they retire the following winter so that Heidi can start going to school. Over the course of the season, 
Heidi and Armonji become friendly with the villagers, and Peter builds his own sled and wins a local race. The subsequent spring, they return to the mountain in the Alps, bidding farewell to their new friends. In Frankfurt, Clara, who has been longing to see her friend again, reminds her father of his promise to her, but he reminds her that the conditions in the Swiss Alps may be too harsh for her to handle. The doctor is sent to the Alps in her place, to determine whether it is an appropriate environment for a crippled, sick young girl. Heidi, Peter, Armonji, and the limitations of the terrain convince the doctor that this may be just the place for Clara to try her legs again. In due course, Clara comes to the Alps with Mrs. Rottenmeier, whose disapproval of the rustic conditions and fear of animals is patent. However, Clara's grandmother soon arrives, and after seeing firsthand the vast improvement in Clara's condition, sends Mrs. Rottenmeier home, commending Clara to the Armonji's care before departing herself. After having established that Clara's legs are capable of functioning, the children and Armonji begin to work on Clara's physical therapy. Eventually, Clara is able to walk without assistance and returns home with her father and grandmother, promising that she will return the following spring to be with her friends again. Cast, Kazuko Sugiyama as Heidi, Kohi Miyochi as Armoe, Noriko Oara as Peter, Hayaroko Marayama as Peter. Ryoko Yoshida as Clara Saman, Keiko Han as Clara Saman. Miyako Asa as Miss Rottenmeier, Hisako Kayauda as Miss Rottenmeier. Tamu Suzuki as Mr. Saman Randy Kaija as Heidi, Billy Whitaker as Peter, Michelle Loretta as Clara, Vic Perrin as Armoe, the Doctor and Postman, Alan Reed as Sebastian and Mr. Usher Janet Waldo as Aunt Det. Characters Equals Main Characters Equals Heidi, Heidi, Chris and Adel Hayid, is five years old and an orphan at the time the story begins. The story eventually ends some three years later. Heidi's curiosity, enthusiasm, and intelligence charm most people and animals into friendship, with one notable exception being Ms. Rottenmeier, the housekeeper for the Saman family. Her only relatives are her Aunt Det, from her mother's side, and her paternal grandfather, the Armonji. Armonji, the Armonji, or Onji, is never identified by any proper name. He is an old man, but still physically formidable with a deep well of wisdom and mountain knowledge that he uses to survive the harsh conditions of the Swiss Alps. He is rumored to have killed a man in his youth, and has a popular reputation as being godless, bad-tempered and hard. He is a skilled woodworker, and creates bowls and assorted utensils out of wood, and keeps two goats which provide milk he turns into cheese for trade with the villagers. Peter, Peter is an eleven-year-old goat herd who is responsible for caring for the village goats during the summer. He lives with his mother and his blind grandmother in a shack some distance from the village. His father was a goat herd as well, until he died. Peter's family is not wealthy, and he was used to going hungry until he befriended Heidi. He is an indifferent student, and is somewhat notorious for his greed and academic incompetence. However, towards the end of the animated series he became a natural carpenter. International broadcast, The Heidi, Girl of the Alps the anime has been dubbed in many languages. The TV series was able to reach major stardom in Asia, Europe and Latin America where the anime was dubbed in multiple languages. Equals Afrikaans version equals, dubbed for the SABC by Larry Fee Studios, the show was incredibly popular in South Africa during the 1980s, and had a number of reruns. The opening and closing title music is unique to the Afrikaans version, in the form of the traditional song Heidi sung in German with an orchestral accompaniment. Equals Italian version equals, Heidi, Girl of the Alps was also a huge success in Italy, where it is still one of the best known and loved anime. Its first broadcast was on February 1, 1978, and it had very successful yearly reruns. A good amount of popularity is also enjoyed by the closing song of the Italian version, sang by Elisabetta Viviani. English versions, despite this era's international popularity, it is less well known in the English language. The entire series has been redubbed into English on two separate occasions a Euro first in the late 1970s, when the series was shown in the Philippines, and again in 2001 for broadcast in India on Cartoon Network.
Although this dub was done by the animation studio for airing in India, they never included the English audio on subsequent DVD releases. Interestingly, none of the DVD releases around the world have English subtitles on them either. Equals US release equals, the only version of the Heidi anime to have been commercially released in the United States is a completely separate feature-length movie version of the TV series, initially released in 1975 and later directly to home video in the US sometime in the 1980s by Pacific Arts under the title The Story of Heidi. The American version was produced by Claudio Guzman and Charles Verhalen and featured a voice cast including Randy Kiger as Heidi, Billy Whitaker as Peter, Michelle Lorita as Clara, Vic Perrin as Armoui, The Doctor and Postman, Alan Reed as Sebastian and Mr. Usher, and legendary voice talent Janet Waldo as Aunt Det. This dub also changes the name of the dog Joseph to Bernard, ostensibly because he is a Saint Bernard. There is now a 2015 English version of Heidi available for streaming on Netflix in the US and UK. Reception, Heidi Girl of the Alps is still popular in Japan today a Euro the love for Heidi has drawn thousands of Japanese tourists to the Swiss Alps. Japanese heavy metal rock band and I metal made a cover of the show's original theme song. Equals parodies equals, the original Yakaman has an episode called Pidey, Girl of the Nopes. The show is also spoofed in volume 15 of Gintama. In the anime Golden Time, Kauko sings the intro song with different lyrics in episode 18. Movie, a feature-length film was edited from the series in 1979 by Zuio. All cast were replaced excluding Heidi and the grandfather. This movie is also the only incarnation of the Heidi anime to have been released commercially in the USA in English. Aizo Takahata remarked, neither Hayao Miyazaki nor I are completely related to any shortening version on this work. See also, Heidi, the children's book on which this anime series was based. References External links, IMDb page for Heidi, Girl of the Alps, official website, Heidi, Girl of the Alps at Anime News Network's Encyclopedia, Heidi Art Exhibition in 2005 at the Ghibli Museum, The Story of Heidi at Kitty Matinee.